Hey yo together and very welcome to the StarCraft 2 Crazy Replays! Today again with the TVT, this time on Cactus Valley Ladder Edition. And this one should be really good, so lean back and enjoy the show as we have spawning in the left bottom position of Cactus Valley. It's the Red Terran Latau. Are those pants? Uh, underwear pair? Oh my god. I don't know what that is, but for me it looks like some underwear pants. Nice. And his opponent has to play against this guy. Spawning the left top position, it's me, the blue Terran Alex Sasher. Yep. There we go. Okay, so Cactus Valley. A very large map with a lot of cactus and rocks. And a valley, most likely, somewhere. And some scanty peats, which are biological units with have 10 HP. This ferocious predator lacks the natural weaponry to harm military units. Ah, ah, poor little guy. Poor, poor little guy. Well, rocks prevents placement of buildings. Can be destroyed to allow placement. Oh, very, very important information around the map. Look at that. Minerals. Workers can harvest resources from this mineral field. I didn't know that! Damn it! My whole life is a lie! So, we have gas first for me, of course. Um, and, oh, gas first for Lato as well! So that's gonna be very interesting. Uh, I don't... I think we won't see, oh, but he's going for SCV scout, so yeah, I don't think we will see the auto tool doom drop out of Latau, but it could be Banji, or some kind of tank viking attack, which is really interesting, look at the APM spam, oh my goodness, we are spamming like crazy, spam more APM, mm, there goes the factory for me, and for him as well, so mine is a bit earlier, but that's okay, isn't the biggest deal here on that large map, it's okay. Uh, the orbital command for me is as well a bit faster, yeah. So I'm just playing a little bit more crisp, but as I said, not the biggest deal. Although the marine, wow, that's that's late. That's like okay. Ah, uh, is he getting an add-on? Currently, no. Just one marine, and that's it. Okay. So ah, there we go. Second marine on the way, and second gas from as well. Also a bit late compared to mine. So yeah. And we most likely will see the starport bowing. So yeah. It's it's looking good. The supply depot granting some vision to spot drops. There are some black spots here, but uh, should be fine. And very nicely done. Uh, closing that ramp off so that Hellions can't just stream in. I guess he will close it soon completely. Yeah, there you go. Uh, whoops, and maybe he will throw down one supply depot later on here as well. Just to spot any drop which could come the way. Uh, Hellion will be produced for me. Uh, yep, and I'm closing as well, which is really nice. So, Raven should be produced. Yups, I know my build. There's the Raven. And for Latau, I would say most likely Benji, but it could be as well Raven. Uh, but there we go. Starport Banji with Cloak. Okay. And behind that, the factory not producing anything. I would like to see the factory producing a widow mine. There we go with the supply depot. Very smart. Uh, because on on a lately on a uh, four-player map like that in TVT, I'm playing 15 gas again, and then I go for a widow mine. And I planned it like there. Normally, when I if I would spawn here and my opponent is down there. And you plant down one Widowman here, and two Marines there, and most of the time the Banshee just flies in and straight up dies. Which is really, really nice. Because otherwise you need to rely on, on the Raven, which is a bit late, and the Marine Micro, which can be very difficult against someone who controls their Banshee really good. But with the Widowman it's all... Yeah, it, it happened two times in a row that the Widowman and the two Marines just straight up killed the Banshee before Cloak finished. Which was so nice. So yeah, I, I like Widow Mines, and in the early game, one or two Widow Mines can be really nice to have in, in some nice spots like there, or, or here, just to know movement, 
can be interesting. Uh, it looks like Latao opting for Mac because there's a second factory. And the Banji, ooh. Oh yeah, that's that's the way how I deal with Banjis. So, sure I can't move out now, but he can't deal any damage. So the club Banji is not really doing anything, huh? Yeah, that's, that's that. So he gets one marine kill, but that's not the damage he was looking for. So yeah. Oh, there's a raven on the way. Ooh, to this part. Each other? Yeah. So, oh, he needs to be careful. He could lose the raven. Potentially. Oh no, don't lose the raven. Okay. I didn't pay attention to that. Now it's time to drop. Um, he's getting the gas there. The Spanish is still cloaked. So Lato seems a bit unsure how to transition now. Uh, there he goes. Blue flame and tank as well as the orbital command. So there we see nothing. So where do I drop? This is very, very difficult for me to find a good spot to drop, I guess. But that drop could be huge. Uh, Hellions are very good against those clump packs of marines and they will deal a lot of damage but in the meantime oh that's looking really really nice. I lose a tank, I lose the medivac and the auto turrets are not really in a good position for me either. So he oh, he cleans it with ease. But he's losing something. He might even lose the Banji there. The counter repair not enough. How many CVs died? Just three in total so far. Might lose a fourth one? Yeah there we go. But Nicely done with the defense there. The, the, the auto tool is not in a very good spot to be honest. I shouldn't have sieged the tanks, so I could have picked up the tanks against the Banshee. And then most likely I would have won. Uh, still there was uh, the one Viking at that time, but I could have swapped the Medivax. So I could have dealt way more damage. And that's one thing you need to consider with... Oh, don't lose the Raven! Ooh, don't lose the Vikings. That's one thing you need to consider with the... Uh, with the auto to doom drop Tejas on uh, auto to doom drop build, you need to know, and that comes with experience. Do I siege up the tanks, or don't I siege up the tanks? And that's that's difficult to tell. And at some points, it's good to siege up the tanks, and at some point, uh, maybe not. So, comes with experience. I still haven't totally figured out yet. So yeah, Lato opting for Mac, as you can see, third factory, that's definitely no, not bio. Uh, third command center, very early. Income wise, it's looking equal, but I am ahead in worker by quite a bit. Seven SVs, that's, that's quite something. Mm, and what is this SUV doing? Oh my god. Am I going for... Oh, that's something I'm doing a lot lately as well in TVT. Not so much against Terran. Uh, Zerg, but also against Protoss. Oh, it's just grab a hidden base. Because most people in Master League don't spot that. Oh, he could kill all the mules. Ooh, that's huge. That's, that's good damage there. Oh, that's really good damage. Okay, only four worker, but denied mining time on the mule. Killed one as well. Yeah, so if you are, if you're even on a two player map, if you're playing StarCraft 2 and you're a Terran, at, at like every two minutes, just do it. Have one marine, shift click it through all the bases. What could happen is that you have one marine out of the map, not with your army. But if you just hit one out of ten games where a guy goes some hidden base, you will be so glad you sent out that one marine. Every two minutes. Uh, at the, at the, you can start at the ten minute mark, something like that. And then every two minutes send out one marine everywhere. Blah, 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 blah. It helps. It's just good to have it. If you can manage to do so. So yeah, try that. Could be could be really good. Uh, this marine doesn't know the function of the Xenaga Watchtower. You need to stay right next to it, buddy. That's way too far. Oh god. Yeah. What a nap. What a nap. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. Okay. So, where's the third base? It's not up and running yet. Uh, I like the Viking flock. Uh, and the turrets are coming down. The problem is he's still just on three factory production. He's heavy on tanks, but low on, on meat shield like Hellbat. So, it can be very difficult. If I would have 
uh, a huge army force and hmm, I could kill a lot of stuff there with my with my army because he got no meat shield and he really needs to throw down additional factories as well as grabbing the Vespin geysers there we go finally it's really late to be honest really late uh, he also would love to have double armory for double upgrades mm, but currently that's not the case Ooh. Blue Flame Hellions! Very good. Oh, oh, oh! Oh my goodness. Is this true? Is this really happening? Who scans? Oh no. So I scan and see there is no base. Yeah, that, that's a problem. I, I wanted to attack at two sides. Ah, he saw the scan. He sees the drop. He knows. Ah, oh, he loses a medivac there. Ooh, but not the biggest deal yet. But still, look at the supply. It's not looking good for him. He's so low on gas. He needs a ah. Uh, he block ah. Uh, he blocks with the auto to his base. Ah, oh, that's so unfortunate. His main base almost mined out here. As well for me. So we really need to to get bases down down. So yeah, versus Mac, you need to play. Like you play versus Protoss, hit at multiple sites, try to deny the third base, do a doom drop, stuff like that. And that's what my Raven is so important for, because of the PDDs I can doom drop, even though there are tons of tourists there and Vikings. But I need to be careful, because if the Vikings did the uh, PDD wouldn't last long enough to get the Medivac safe down there. Oh, look at all those minerals! Uh, if I would be in Lato's uh, position, I, I would have gone for proxy bases and get the gas, something. You, th this third base is so late. Uh, normally, 12 minutes as a mech player should be a safe way to get the uh, third base down. 10 minutes would be awesome. 8 minutes is just super mean, ultra greedy, you can't do that. And as you can see, I I'm going for the double starport behind that, so I'm making myself ready to switch into Viking Raven most likely. Uh, now I see his army and know, okay, I can't attack there, but maybe I can attack his natural. And uh, he, d he sees it now. Okay, he sees there's my small force. He sees me loading it up, and he sends the Vikings. Oh, oh, that's that's huge. That's super huge. But uh, two medivacs are making its way there. Uh, very expensive. At the same time, attacking here, there's no meat shield, so some tanks will die in the process. He lands the Vikings and loses all of them because Vikings are not really good against Marauder and Marines, let me tell you that. And he got a tank, so I might get one tank. Yeah. Uh, but he defended quite nicely. And you can see the unit lost that trade. Went good for him. Overall, resources lost. Not too bad. But he lost a lot of gas in the process as well. But really nice killing the Ravens or that the PDDs couldn't get up. That was very important for him. And there you go, see, with the Marines, just scouting for hidden bases, because I'm not used to play against someone who is so far behind. It makes me nervous like heck. It's, it's like, no, it, it can't be that I'm so far ahead. But currently I am, and there we go. Two more star pods, I should saturate the gas. Planetary Fortress, because normally on my third base I would go for a orbital command, but because the hidden base is my planetary fortress, uh, my, my orbital command is my... The hidden base is my third base, that's why I go for the planetary here. So, there you go. Ah, uh, so many turrets. I mean, you got the minerals, so that's fine. Let's have a look at the upgrade shortly. It's 1-1 one, one bio against plus 2 vehicle attack. So, mm, I really love Isaac auto tracking on, on this guy. Really good. He scans and sees no base and is like, oh, I'm not that far behind. But, guess what? Oh! Oh, those Hellions, man. No! They don't spot it! Ooh, they don't spot it. That would be so huge. I mean, I'm not mining a lot here. Uh, just minerals. I really should saturate the gas, but... Yeah. What you could do, uh, what really helps, if you're going for a hidden base, like... Oh, planetary. Uh, he will kill some SCDs. But not too many. Ah, uh, it's okay. I got enough. What you could do if you go for a hidden base is throw down one bunker with, there you go, scans, and sees that I'm unloading the, the SCDs. 
Yeah, go for one, maybe two bunker with eight marines. That sounds like an investment, but you are safe against Hellion run bys, and your opponent has to commit with something heavier like tanks to be able to really deny mining efficiently. And eight marines as a bio player isn't too much to be honest, so you can do that. It really helps. Uh, you don't want to lose a full mining base to four Hellions, so you need to defend it. 2-2 uh, will be finished very soon. And there we go, Starport for Latau as well, finally. But he's so low on gas that I'm not sure if he can pull that one off. My Bioforce isn't too strong to be honest. I got enough SCV, so SCV count is good. Skill scouting for hidden bases with that Marine. And scouting for the fourth base. Uh, there's the scan. A scan for one Marine. That's not really worth it. If you see just one Marine, one little dot moving in the in range of the uh, watchtower or of the sensor turret, then don't scan for one Marine. No, no. With the speed, the, the dot is moving. You can assume that it's most likely not. Oh! Oh, he loses all of those Hellions. He sees the Vikings and the Raven, which is good, but ah! Oh, he could have gone for it and pulled a part of my army back. But he didn't, so I'm still fresh mining there, that's nice. I got the upgrade for the Raven, so that they start with 75 energy. I should get a second armory, because as you can see, Fusion Core on the way. I'm almost ready. Uh, oh god, okay, so this Bioforce killing a Thor, potentially there. And a lot of tanks might go down here. Uh, I'm losing a Raven for nothing there, that's unfortunate, but uh oh, auto turrets, PDDs. There are the Seeker Missiles, uh, so the auto is not dealing too much there, but the, the Seeker Missile, oh, killing three tanks for energy, that's good. And I'm still sieging here, that little Marauder, no, oh, I'm so mad. Killing the Tech Lab, and it's very important, because now that that limits the amount of Raven he can produce, he's killing all the Medivacs. Uh, he might need to lift the Orbital Command, he doesn't want to lose it, okay, there's a repair. That's, that's good. Ah, no, he, lo he lost the, the SCVs. Is this really happening? Ah, he got one repairing there. Okay. So, everything's fine. Uh, I've traded quite okay, I would say. But yeah, uh, Battlecruiser will be on the way soon. As well as the Behemoth Reactor, I guess it's called. Durable Materials and Behemoth Reactor, yeah. And after that, I guess you will see the... Yes, there's the fusion core. Yamato cannon. Oh, Orma is, is ready. Okay. That's, that's good. So, yeah, taking another base. And now that's, that's the stage of the game where it's getting interesting because bio forces aren't that strong anymore because of tanks and turrets. Uh, they still can hit hard. So, as a support, they're good. But the, the main army will be the Vikings, the Raven, and later, of course, the. A battle cruiser, and to counter that you need a lot of missile turrets, vikings, thors, raven your own, or just battle cruiser, raven, viking as a mech terran. Mm. So yeah, it's 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 difficult. You need to have a healthy mix. Ah, the bio is so weak, upgrade wise. That's not really funny. So yeah, it's difficult. It's very difficult. There we go. Seeker missile, PDDs, and pulling back. And yeah, killing two tanks, stimming in and dealing some damage, deny the gas potentially, or trade some tanks. Ah, PDD, very good against the Marauder, very good. But I need uh, tanks my own, not a lot of tanks, but like four to five tanks, that would really be helpful with sieging. I, I could siege right there, and the Thor, yep, is annoying against the Vikings. But therefore, I would have gotten the battle cruiser, and yeah, still no Yamato cannon, which is a really big issue. I thought it would be ready, but nope. And you need Yamato cannon on the battle cruiser because it deals 300 single target damage. That it kills a lot. I mean, the Thor is almost down and out after you have Yamato cannon. You can Yamato down the Raven, which is super useful, or the Vikings as well. You can Yamato down the tanks, uh, or the turrets, all that stuff. And he sees the army, that's the good thing, with the scan, but mm, I'm not sure about that one. So many turrets, I might be able to maybe get a turret or two, but for 
that much energy? Is it worth it? I would say no. I would say no, but in the meantime we have uh, nothing going on there. Oh, Hunter Seeker Missile! Ah, hit! Uh, some decent connects, but not the best one. And there we go, sacrificing some SCVs to make sure I can replenish them with Battle Cruiser Operation. As I just. Yeah, I, I got so many orbital commands. Uh, like, okay, four now, just, but there are more coming. Three more, and then with that, with the mules, I don't need too many SCVs. I just need SCVs mining gas, and the rest is mules for minerals, so I can zack some of those uh, units. So currently, we have six battle cruiser, uh, 17 Viking, and 12, 12 Raven. 12, that, that's good. You can, uh, Lato just got 12 Vikings and 9 Raven himself. Upgrade wise, I have to say, it's looking very good for him. Oh, yeah, no, not really. I was thinking he, he had 3 3 already, but he never got the uh, second armory, I guess. No. And that really hurts now. And those small bioforces, they are cheap. They won't achieve too much here, but yeah, maybe they can get something done. Or nothing. But yeah, that's 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 the, that's the difficulty of playing against someone who, who turtles like him, playing Mac. It's it's difficult to know when to engage where because turtles are really good against Vikings and Rain. They are decent against Battle Cruiser. There you go, Yamato Cannon, killing those turrets, and that's what you need to do. And that's what the problem is: all those Hunter Seeker missiles on the Battle Cruiser, but you wanna have them stacking on the Vikings. Uh, the, the connections are really good, but in the end, it's not enough damage. A Seeker Missile deals uh, 100 splash damage and a Battle Cruiser has 550 health. And now I'm on top of his army. The PDDs are really helpful. And I can't just clear the tanks as long as I got the PDDs. Uh, yeah. That's that. So... Mm. He hold, But he lost a lot of Vikings, I would say. Yeah, all his Vikings are down, and yeah, he traded Battle Cruiser. This is nice, and he saved the Raven. So overall, not too bad. Uh, replenishing Vikings is better and easier than replenishing Raven. So well done there, but still, it's it's difficult. He tries to take another base. Uh, yeah, there are still tanks, so you it's it's very hard to really attack into that. But I could imagine a small. Bio force running in right there, like 10 Marauder, 10 Marines could deal a lot of damage here and take out potentially those uh, starports. That's where you can cripple your opponent, really. If you get his production down, that could be really helpful. And that's the case, I'm still producing uh, bio. I should maybe get the upgrades, but currently I, I don't have the gas because of the battle cruiser. They're so expensive, man. How much gas am I mining? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six gases currently only. I really should take those both. Uh, oh, he's moving out. Very. Ah, uh, I don't know. The PDD is really good against the Marauder, but how much energy is left there? There we go, Battle Cruiser. Oh, the Seeker missiles. And yeah, there's one in the. Oh. And there's the Yamato cannon, and you can see it. That's just huge. And you don't want a Seeker missile there, the Battle Cruiser. Look at the damage they they take. Yeah, you kill two, but for how much energy? Okay, that was reasonable. He has to pull back. Uh, PDDs, Seeker Missiles, I might be chasing too far. Oh yeah, the connections are decent. And the auto tool is still good, but... Yeah, it's, it's looking... Yeah, pull back. That's, that's the better way. Uh, it's... I killed half his Raven. And all his Vikings again, and all the Thor. So overall, the trade was okay. It wasn't the best trade, but yeah, gas-wise, you can see, I traded better with the gas, and I am mining more gas. No, currently not. But how much gas is one, two, three, four, five, six? I will start mining more gas soon. So that's that's totally fine. But I need the gas. I need to repair. And that's what those SCVs are for. Repairing my fleet, which is really expensive. Now the upgrades, I'm 
I had now an upgrade against a Mech Terran. That's that's ah, not cool. Not a very cool position to be in. But yeah, it's it's he he never can max out. It looks like he just doesn't have the gas and the production to max out. So if I can deny this base or kill that one, just kill one base, so that he can't mine any gas anymore. Uh, then I might be able to just win with that. But yeah, still producing bio because why not? There aren't too many tanks left, seven tanks in total, which is, is it's good, yeah. And the PDDs are awesome against Marauder, but you don't want to waste your energy on PDDs against Marauder. You want to have your energy use on PDDs against the Vikings and Hunter Seeker missile. Look at that, 16 Raven. And there are the Vikings, 18 and 5 Battlecruiser. Uh, I'm getting a cloaking field, so maybe I will switch into Banshees? That would be very interesting. What I just thought, yeah, heck, why not? What you could also try against a mech turn or in, in such air battles is get one or two ghosts and try to EMP the Raven. Um, because there is... Uh, all those scans, oh my goodness. There's almost in every game a time where they stack like that. And just two EMPs now. Pew pew! And all those Raven are useless that supply. But yeah, oh, you will lose the tanks for free. That's not helpful. The Thor, look at that. And again, he's Hunter Seeker missling. Yeah, that's a new word. Uh, the Petal Cruiser, and they just don't take any damage whatsoever. So he loses the Thor for nothing. Uh, he brought one Petal Cruiser down to 125 supply, but. Ah, oh, that was a good hit. I uh, didn't kill too much there. He might lose the Siege tank. Uh, yeah, he got a lot of minerals. Me too, oh my goodness. Look at the bank. Look at the gas income. 1,000 gas per minute. That's insane. Uh, ooh, that's the bio. Small counter attack. Totally missed that. Sorry for it. But yeah, it's dealing a lot of damage and he can't, he, he won't be able to hold the space. No chance. Uh, I'm not sure about the muttering down the planetary. That was unnecessary. But yeah, his army is back there. He needs to protect his production. That's the problem. So he loses that base at the bottom right completely. And I can just pull back, repair again, replenish with some more bio and raven, get finally plus three attack. And yeah. So he's on soon he's on two gases mining. And those both are low as well. Uh, so it's looking way better for me. He almost never was on my side of the map as well. And <laughs> finally then taking the third base. Woo! That's the third base. And that's that's a really good thing. I managed to, to keep that base fresh and unmined the whole game. So I can take that whenever I need it. And that's really good. Well, I'm taking very aggressive bases over here. Mm, oh, I would love to see where my mineral bank went because it's empty now and I'm just producing a couple of orbital commands and gas geysers but yeah ah okay they're all in the, in the idle production there you go okay battle crews are queued up I see new hammer uh, small counter attack with the hellions not dealing too much damage there and uh, that's nice denying that base uh, no need to cancel actually but I guess it's okay he will kill the gases, that's nice, but he will be gas starved as well soon. As those two refineries are running out of gas, those two refineries soon as well, and then he's just in one mining base. And he tries to retake his base there, at the bottom right, but I guess that won't happen. And finally my bio is quite strong, and those small forces, they are annoying, because look at the Thor. Uh, okay, with the tanks, but still. It's, it's good. A small force here again, taking out the turrets, just dealing as much as possible, killing the gas. Oh, that's that's huge. He needs the gas. He doesn't have the income nor the bank. And there's my army. There it is, getting repaired. Uh, very patient game, but yeah, I got, I got good upgrades. They should be 3-3 three, three already, sure, but it's okay. Imagine a, a battle cruiser with 3-3 three, three upgrades, they deal so much damage. That's insane. And yeah, he lost a lot there. He, he doesn't have any gas bank. He's still not maxed. 
Uh, he lost two gases. Had to remake that one. He's losing energy. He's trading energy for bio units. And yeah, the Thor can take out those units, sure. But in the end, it doesn't matter for me. He's losing some SCVs. The real problem is that he can't remax. He can't remake the units. The, the last fight will happen soon. And yeah, I still got a bank again. So he got 7th Thor, but they are not really helpful against the Battlecruiser. Uh, he got 12 Vikings against 18 and 14 Raven against 17. But I got 8 Battlecruiser. And they, most of them have 2 Yamato cannons, as it just costs 100 energy to fire that. So... Yeah, I guess he will... Oh, PDDs and Hunter Seeker missiles going down. Oh, on top of the... Vikings as well. That's not looking too good. Oh, big hits, very big hits. And yeah, he can't replenish. His army supply is so low. And a small bio force attacking there. Yes, there are the seeker missiles on the battle cruiser, dealing a lot of damage. But as you can see, it's useless because you can't kill them with seeker missiles that easily. They just tank so much. And there we go. GG. And that's how I have to play against Mac. Oh yeah. So, I guess Latau could have been in a way better spot if he would have taken the third base earlier, like four minutes earlier. He was so far behind the whole game that he never was able to, to keep up with me. And in the end, that's then the point where you just win. So yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed. I did. It was a fun game to watch. And a very interesting game to play. Uh, typically I'm not that far ahead, so mm, that also did its thing for me, but yeah. So with that, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and as always, I wish you a very nice day.